what is up guys welcome back to another video and today we are going to be evaluating the moves that the browns have made so far in this off season i'm gonna basically rate them and have my take on the moves so make sure to subscribe leave a like by the time you'll be seeing this video we will be away um there are great videos coming so be sure to stay tuned um for them but anyway we are going to get started here some of the moves um, that the Browns have made this season, I think partic in particular, have been very good moves. And I want to get into more of that now. Um, but keep in mind, um, as of when this video is uploaded, there may be more moves made. But these are um, the moves made as of April 4th. Just keep that in mind as I go through this. But yeah, we are going to get started here. And actually, we are going to start on the defensive slash special teams side of things you'll know what i mean once we kind of get into it a little more um we're gonna start off big here with i think one of the best signings that we got out of free agency and that guy would be Daphne tomlinson a defensive tackle and um taking kind of taking a look at his resume here he's on the browns for four years um his deal is 27.5 million um that's gar in guaranteed money um in total he's deal it's 57 million dollars and he's coming from the vikings obviously he has experience and he is a very reliable very solid defensive tackle he was ranked 34th in the league in pass rush win weight last year at 7.3 percent he was third in the vikings pressure last season at 5.3 percent and he was ranked 32nd in the league and run stop win rate at a percentage point of 33.2. Now, the important thing to kind of get out of this signing is that he is going to help this run defense, which was awful last year, being completely honest. And he's going to give Miles Garrett some relief inside as well. And it's going to overall just kind of help the young ones on the D line kind of develop and honestly play better. So, uh, moving on. To the next pair um, of players here there are also defensive tackles they are maurice hurst and tristan hill and not as large not as flashy of a signing but they provide some more relief for that defensive uh line as well and maurice hurst he played for for the 49ers and the raiders so obviously he has experience playing for some teams and tristan hill he's he was drafted by the cowboys and he played for the Cardinals at one point in his career um, but one thing to keep an eye out here is that both of these players have been limited by injury, so we haven't really seen their full potential yet. Um, but assuming that they stay healthy and or other players get injured, they can really help that D-line kind of develop even more. Um, and overall, so far we got some good defensive tackle signings here. Now, moving on to a different position we're still going to stay with the d line but a different position here it's going to be uh this guy i i now we're going to try to say the name i'm sorry um but he is a defensive end and looking at the defensive end here he signed a three-year deal um he played for the texans um he actually played with watson at one point so that's just a little um little fun fact um he is going to be the top replacement for Jajevion Clowney, who was obviously um, let go of. He was ranked 13th in pass rush win weight at a percentage of 19%. Um, percent, and he takes the load off of Miles Garrett, which is very important because, as we've seen last season, Miles Garrett basically carries the whole line. When Miles Garrett's not feeling his best, there is almost no pressure from that defensive line. So this is going to help him out a lot. It's going to be able to get that other side and it doesn't say here but all of this overall is going to help the run defense like i just said earlier moving on here now we got one thornhill um this is one of the other big signings that uh the browns got from the offseason and prior to signing with the browns he played for the chiefs so he has super bowl experience and playoff experience and overall he is going to be a nice veteran to have on that that cornerback position with denzel ward um and it's just it, it's gonna help this defense out a lot which last year this defense was really bad to the point where they had to fire joe was of bring in jim schwartz it's gonna give jim schwartz some options here and he's gonna be replacing john johnson the third really he's the top replacement for him and 
playing a lot and as i said earlier he's gonna be playing alongside brand delphi and brand ward so it's really gonna kind of help that deep coverage and it's just gonna provide more depth which is always nice now moving on here now moving on here we got mike ford matthew adams and jordan kunizek and these guys the reason why i have all these three names here is because they all have something in common and that one thing they all have in common is that they can all play special teams and they all play defense as well kind of going more into depth into that mike ford he signed a one-year deal he can be a cornerback in special teams and then matthew adams and jordan kunizek they can pl they also signed a one-year deal they can both play linebacker in special teams so obviously we get some depth on the defensive end um but we also get some help in special teams and this is a great signing and it's really going to a get depth for that defense and they're going to help out to that special teams that was i'm not sure so much struggling but it was um definitely not playing at the highest level and as i and as it says here and as i kind of said the three will most likely play special teams defense looks like they'll be okay with that but if the defense ever has a hole these guys can fill in for them and they can play multiple positions um on special teams and defense so it's great to kind of see this type of signing here and then moving on here uh just another thing here Sione talk Sion talking Taki and Anthony Walker who are linebackers they are going to be returning this year um that's important to this defense they have been here for a few years now and um they have been making some of the larger plays including um Taki Taki especially um so that is an important point to make there now moving on to this offense here um the offense has also gotten some new recruits and we're gonna take a look at them now um so now ethan polkick he is the center um for the browns he played with them last year and he signed a three-year extension and he is gonna play alongside y teller and joel batonio and um he was fifth in the pass block win rate at 96.2 percent and he was fourth in run block win rate at 74.6 percent so Obviously, this is a great extension. When he came in for Nick Harris in that preseason game against the Jaguars two years ago, he did an incredible job. And I think it's going to be great that Ethan uh, Pokick is still on the team. He's going to provide um, a lot of the tackling um, for this offensive line. And overall, it's just a great signing, and it's great to see him back. Um, the O-line is going to continue to dominate, hopefully, next year. And then moving on here. We got Jordan Atkins, um, the tight end. We got from the Texans, and he played with Watson in Texas, so it's going to be a familiar, a uh, familiar uh, teammate for Watson, which is good for Watson. He has someone that he kind of knows. He had 37 receptions, 495 yards, and five touchdowns last season. Now, one thing to kind of uh, note here is that he's going to play alongside Njoku and Harrison Bryant. Now. How that is going to work out is up to Stefanski because obviously he's going to be calling plays. But I think you can make it work with three tight ends. However, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. Maybe they'll put in Njoku, put it Atkins in, um, or put Njoku and Atkins in, leave Brian out. We'll see what happens with that tight end position. But I think if they can execute it well, I think it's going to work very well for this offense. And then moving on here, we got our two big wide receivers we got marcus goodwin and elijah moore they, uh, they both have one scale that the other doesn't so it's going to balance out kind of kind kind of perfectly here and marcus goodwin he played for the jets um his main ability is speed so it's going to provide a great help um to the speed category and then elijah moore um he is great in the slot um so overall these receivers are gonna really help this passing game open up and they add downfield threats with Deshaun Watson and that's that's always nice to have we didn't really have downfield threat last season um we had uh Donovan Peoples Jones and Amari Cooper uh mainly but it's nice to have some more receivers coming in there um and kind of um allowing more uh playmaking to happen and more downfield throws to happen will kind of balance out the run game and the passing game that is that's going to be real nice for Stefanski and it, it should should be able to help this offense out more looking at the final guy here he we got Joshua Dobbs the quarterback uh coming from Tennessee 
And he signed a one-year deal. Um, obviously, I just said he played for Tennessee last year. He did a nice job filling in for Tennessee, even though they lost in the playoffs. But it shows he can fill in at a minute's notice. And it's going to now provide a backup quarterback for Deshaun Watson. Um, obviously, we rated Jacoby Brissett to the Commanders. Fun fact about uh, Joshua Dobbs. He played for the Browns in last year's preseason, so he has some experience with the Browns. Um, but now he is going to be a be official backup quarterback. And it's going to be real nice to kind of have a backup quarterback in case Watson goes down. And this guy, he does have experience, so that's always good. But that's all the moves the Browns have made so far in this offseason, obviously, like I said before. Um, as of when this video is uploaded, I have no idea um, if there have been any more moves made. Um, but those are some of the big moves that I've seen and some of the big moves that I think are going to help this team out a lot. And yeah, so uh, that's going to do it. Make sure to subscribe, leave a like, uh, turn on your notifications, and great videos are coming soon. So be sure to hit that bell, and we are going to see you guys on the next video. Have a good night, and yeah.